Kids Quarantine Creative Activities by Art and Soul Miami. Let's get ready to make our own paint for outdoor use on glass, windows, sliding glass doors. Step one, take one cup of water and one cup of flour and pour it into a mixing bowl. Step two, use one cup of soap. When using soap, try to use hand or dish soap that does not have SLS in its top three ingredients. I used Meyer's soap, which worked great. The reason for this is SLS will create the paint to be more sudsy and bubbly, which is something you don't want. Step three, begin mixing together. You'll notice that it will get a little clumpy, the mixture, and that's because of the all-purpose flour. That's okay. Try to mix it the same way you mix pancake batter. And whatever clumps are left, if you have any, pour it into a strainer. First, go to your sink, put one mixing bowl under the strainer, the strainer inside, and then pour your mixture into it, and the clumps will remain in the strainer itself. Remove the strainer and you'll notice in the mixing bowl in the bottom that has caught all of the foundation for your paint is sitting there, clump free. Step four, take that mixing bowl and begin to pour it into cups. At first I had mason jars, but I really didn't need those. I could use plastic cups. I had more of those and they were easier to toss out after the project was over. Add one drop of food coloring per cup, unless you're mixing. For instance, if you want to have purple, then you would have one drop of red and one drop of blue. The reason for one drop is food coloring goes a long way and you also don't want any staining. One drop you're safe, two drops you're safe, anything more than that, it's too much. After you add the drops, be sure to mix in the coloring very well. You'll notice here that the food coloring sits a little bit on the top. Just take your paintbrush or whatever, a popsicle stick, something that you're using. Um, make sure to wipe it off if you're using the same piece per cup um, and stir it up really good. You'll notice it coagulates a little bit the color at the top, but if you shake it around and move it a bit, it, in seconds it goes down. And voila, here are our paint colors. So we took this activity outside. It's great for painting on the windows or glass doors. It's super easy to come off because the base of it is really soap. One thing you'll notice is this doesn't have vibrancy in paint like the paint your kids are used to working with. However, it is a lot of fun. It's fun for them to paint on glass and understand the foundation of where they can paint. It's excellent for fine motor skills and sensory development. And not to mention their imagination. And when it's time to clean up, it's very easy. All you need is water and a sponge because the base of this paint was soap. Allowing them to clean up their art and their mess is part of the process and part of the fun. And as you can see, my sliding glass door is as good as new. My three and five year old did most of the work. I did help them wipe it down with a towel. Other than that, it was an awesome activity. They had fun from soup to nuts, from making the paint, to using the paint, to cleaning up their mess. Enjoy. If you enjoy content like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook at Art and Soul Miami.